friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mary and I'm so happy to have you here for today's video where we're gonna be talking about how to use the law of attraction, law of assumption, to manifest a new job. This video has been highly requested. I don't know why I haven't made it sooner. I've given this exact advice that I'm about to give to you now to my one-on-one -on -one clients in coaching sessions and um, I'm happy to share it with you today. So whenever we're thinking about using the law of assumption or law of attraction to manifest a specific goal, a lot of people automatically think of love. Like love is very much what drives us as human beings, this, this like need for connection, for romance, for intimacy. Um, but you can use these same principles from LOA, which I'll, I'll use to refer to like law of assumption, law of attraction. You can use LOA principles to manifest other specific goals in your life to include a new job or a new position within an existing job. What's great about this is, is this helps address things like fulfillment, satisfaction, money, which is why I've got a little green light action happening here because we're gonna manifest a very high paying job. And so I want you guys thinking really creatively about how to take this advice and apply it to principles. You could also use this for like manifesting like a specific degree or something, but today we'll keep it very focused on um, a job, right? So the first thing that you can do to manifest a new job, new role at your current job, whatever, uh, you know, a promotion, why was that word evading me? A promotion is to visualize it. The, the, the way that our mind works is it ties imagination very closely to reality. Think about when you were a little boy or a little girl and you used to play pretend how real that felt. If you can tap into even an iota of that feeling when you're manifesting, it's such a powerful thing. Essentially, whenever we're visualizing something, we're helping to map out new neural connections within our brain to imprint this belief on our subconscious mind so it can then manifest in our reality. So what types of visualizations can you use to manifest a job? You can visualize yourself um, getting the call from them, letting you know like, hey, we've decided to go with you. We're gonna be sending an offer at the end of the day. You can also visualize yourself receiving the offer letter in your email, right? And seeing all of those amazing zeros, whatever visualization feels really authentic to you. Um, what's important about visualizations is don't get like lost in the idea of daydreaming. Daydreaming can feel really good, especially if you're someone who is highly imaginative. I, I am a very imaginative person. I love to daydream. But I acknowledge and recognize that daydreaming is not helping me to manifest as much as visualizations do. And the reason why is because, let's say I spend an hour daydreaming about this job that I want. And I'm picturing like, I get the I get the call and then I get the offer and then I tell my family and they're like, oh my God, this is amazing. And then we go out to dinner to celebrate and then I go shopping and I'm gonna get a new wardrobe for this new job. And, and you know, and do I wanna have a blazer with jeans and some Chuck Taylors to have a really cool tech bro vibe? Or do I wanna have a pencil skirt and a blouse and be like a powerhouse? And I'm like picturing all this stuff and then I imagine my first day and I show up and they show me where the break room is and I get a cup of coffee and I walk into the, conference room and like when you picture all this stuff you spend an hour playing out this whole scenario you are fire hosing your subconscious mind with a lot of information how do you expect your brain to imprint all of these new ideas when it doesn't know which ones are really valid to what you're manifesting as compared to which are little minor details that don't matter so you may be thinking all of these things, this whole scenario, and the one piece of information that your brain actually manages to hold on to is, oh, she wants a new pencil skirt, and so you get one for Christmas, right? So that's where daydreaming, it can be fun. I don't know that it's going to hurt you, but it's not going to help you. It's not going to be as efficient as visualization. Visualization is little like five to ten second clips that you play on repeat, uh, I don't know if you guys remember like Vines, when Vines were a thing, I think they were six seconds, but Vines were like little six second videos. I want you to imagine like a Vine length visualization. So it could literally just be, 
opening your email and imagining the offer letter or imagining the phone call, the person who interviewed you, like, like, Hey, we've decided to to send you an offer. And you repeat that. Hey, we've decided to send you an offer. Hey, we're excited for you to join the team. Whatever saying or visualization or scenario sounds good. Loop that thing. You can also have what we call internal conversations, but I like to make mine like halfway external and I'll explain what I mean. But an internal conversation is where you imagine a conversation in your head with someone else from the end state of your manifestation, from post job offer or post first day or after your promotion. Now you're the one running the meeting, whatever. So um, what the reason I say I do inner and outer is because how I use inner conversations is I do this when I'm home alone, so my husband doesn't think I'm a crazy person. But essentially, I imagine I'm having a conversation with someone, and I will say my part of the conversation out loud, and then I imagine in my head their response. But again, this is in a post-manifestation world. So if I were manifesting a new job where I got offered half a million dollar a year salary, right? I could imagine myself having a conversation with my husband and I'm like, oh my gosh, I got the offer. You're never going to believe how much they're paying me. And then I would say that part out loud. And then I pause and I imagine him saying, how much? And I go, half a million freaking dollars because that's how I talk. And then I imagine him like, oh my God, this is amazing. Or he might say something like, well, babe, like I'm not at all surprised. You've, you've worked hard. You deserve this. You've earned this, whatever. I imagine that conversation and I might loop that conversation a few times to really implant this idea into my subconscious mind so that it can manifest. But please make sure if you're doing these conversations, like you're, you're by yourself, you're not operating heavy machinery. You know what I mean? Like just be smart about it. But if you're just like chilling on the couch, and you want to like use this to really help cement this job for you through the lens of manifestation, this can be a really great way. Additionally, another thing that you can do is, if you want to go a little bit further, make yourself some fake business cards or just like one, make yourself like one fake business card that has, and you can like go, you can do this in PowerPoint. You can do this on Canva, like a free, a free, you know, account on Canva There's a number of places you could do this, but make yourself like a fake business card that has your name, it has the job title that you're manifesting, it has the office location, and then print it out and put it somewhere that you can see it, right? Put it on your on your nightstand, put it on your bathroom counter, put it, you know, in your car console, like, don't put it in a place that your husband might see it and think you're a crazy person, but put it somewhere that you can see it and it reaffirms to you that this is your end state, that you are this version of you with this title at this company. If you have a specific company in mind, if you don't, you could just put your name and the title that you're manifesting. Additionally, something else you can do is take some steps in the 3D, take some steps in the real world to help you co-create this state that you're manifesting. What do I mean by that? Update your LinkedIn. Update your LinkedIn. If you have a LinkedIn, update your LinkedIn. Make some changes, like make sure it looks good. Like be an alluring candidate, right? This is where like when you're manifesting a specific person, you're working on your self-concept so that you're ready for this end state once it comes forth. Have like have your LinkedIn. You don't have to like pay people to do this. There's free information on YouTube. You know, it doesn't, you don't have to invest a bunch of hours in this, but just make sure like your LinkedIn looks okay. I, I literally gave this exact advice of the visualizing, the business card, the LinkedIn to one of my coaching clients about a month ago. And when we spoke last week, guess what she has? A new job. Guess what she's making? Ex- actually, it's like, I was going to say exactly how much she wanted to, but I think it's more than what she wanted to. And her office is five minutes from her apartment, plus working from home X number of days a week. And she followed this exact formula. So take a few minutes, update your LinkedIn, make sure that's looking okay. Because if you're manifesting like a CEO role, but you haven't updated your LinkedIn since you worked at McDonald's, it's like, it's one of those things where you need to feel it real. You need to feel it real and like play the part. You know what I mean? Like be the version of you that you are manifesting. I hope this makes sense. And then I just said it, but the final thing I would encourage you to do is feel it real. 
Feeling something is not a requirement when you're manifesting. It's more of a nice to have than a need to have, but it's a really nice, nice to have. And by feeling it, I mean like, don't be afraid that it's not happening or that it's not going to happen. Don't be stressing it out. Don't be stressing yourself out. Exist in this state of knowing that this job is already yours or this position is already yours and your reality is now playing catch up to the truth. The truth is the thing that you are manifesting and your reality now has to catch up to it. So all you have to do is exist in the state of like conscious knowing, exist in your state of truth and then your reality will catch up to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to make more content on manifesting jobs, money. I don't know. I love manifesting money. Just let me know. I don't know. Okay. Bye friends.